What's going on heroes? The month of October is finally here and for those of us that love Halloween, that means it's time to celebrate all month long. And with that being said, I have some huge news coming out for the homecoming servers today on October 1st. Issue 26, page 3 is now live on the homecoming servers. So what exactly does that mean? Let's take a look over at the forums, a post by Jimmy, and see exactly what all comes with this patch. Again, this is issue 26, page 3. This is considered a content patch, and I'm going to tell you why in just a moment. Now, first and foremost, the most exciting thing for me is the Halloween event. It is now live. Heroes, we can now trick or treat. This is so exciting. I've been waiting for this day but trick-or-treating has been enabled in all city zones now one key note one thing you need to remember is that you need to be in a zone that matches your level in order to trick-or-treat uh, also dr kane's mansion is now available in the holiday lfg tab we have the halloween holiday event i'm super pumped for that uh, also that means that the eternal night has fallen it will be nighttime all the time in City of Heroes. And me, for one, I kind of I like it because of all the decorations and stuff. It's, it's quite fitting. If you've been taking a break from this game and you need a reason to come back, this is it. Now remember, with the holiday event, that means Halloween vendors. So there will be items that you can trade in for things in-game. I'm going to go and actually log into City of Heroes and show you that stuff here in just a few minutes. But... The Halloween event is now live. Uh, this patch brings much more than that, though. Uh, again, remember I said that this would be a content patch. So let's go over and take a deeper look. Yes, with this patch, uh, it is going to add two new story arcs with branching narratives. Uh, for this, uh, I have here on the page we're looking at new story arc Shauna Braun and new story arc Bobby Curtin. Uh, for the Shauna Braun, you do have to be a vigilante. And with the Bobby Curtain, you do have to be rogue alignment for that one. Um, I will link these posts down in the description. That way, if you want to read them more in depth, you can. But two new story arcs are here in the game. So that's huge news. Also, this patch brings in uh, the Ricky Mothership Raid will have an option in the LFG tab. And again, I'll show you that in game in just a moment. So you'll be able basically to queue up for a Ricky Mothership raid. It will require minimum 35 and you do still have to have the member of Vanguard badge to be able to even queue up for it. But that's pretty cool that they're adding that. Uh, it will require a minimum of 16 players to start the raid that way. Now also, a new power pool, Force of Will. We talked about it in the last Homecoming update video. It is now live. And it turns out that it's pretty much the same. Uh, you will get Weakened Resolve, Project Will, Mighty Leap, Take Off, Wall of Force, and Unleash Potential. If you'll notice, we did talk about each of these powers in last week's video. The one key difference here is Mighty Leap gives you the Stomp ability. That has been changed to be named Takeoff. And it, it makes sense based on what it does. You stomp your foot on the ground with tremendous force, empowering your jump speed for a short time and shattering the earth beneath, knocking nearby foes off their feet. So that just makes sense that they renamed it Takeoff. Otherwise, everything else uh, pretty much seems to be exactly what we thought it would be. Uh, they have also uh, fixed a lot of bugs, some various things with the UI scaling and things like that. Uh, things with the LFG queue that were not functioning correctly. And uh, they have added some new badges as well. So you badge hunters are going to be really pumped for that. But this is, this is huge news. This is a big patch. A lot of content being added. Uh, they are going to hold a ha some Halloween costume contests and things coming up soon. But that's kind of just the gist. The, just kind of the quick rundown on it. I know I didn't go into huge detail on it, but what I want to do actually is just take you over to the game and just kind of show you what some of these changes are and what they look like. So let's head over to City of Heroes. I'm going to be on my blaster at the moment. So let, let's take a look here. Uh, you'll notice first thing, as soon as you log in, oh, it's, it's such a beautiful sight. Jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. 
Oh, it looks so cool. I've missed it so much. Now, if, if you'll turn around right here in Atlas Park, you'll notice right behind you in front of Miss Liberty is that vendor I was talking about. So when you go trick-or-treating, um, you have two things that could happen to you. Um, you could get tricked or you could get a treat. Now, when you get some of these things, you'll notice that there are some temporary powers you can get, which are going to be costumes. You're going to collect different masks and gloves and costume pieces and things and turn them in for costumes that you'll be able to use. There's also a vanity pet, I believe, a spider pet, and uh, lots of other cool things that you can look at here. Now, I, I don't want to spoil everything. I want to leave a little bit for you to find out in-game. But you'll also notice, if I open up the LFG tab, you'll notice the holiday event that I talked about, Dr. Kane's House of Horror. Now, keep in mind that this is a four-person mission, so that four people is all you can take in this. You'll also notice, if I go over to the uh, Trials tab, that the Richty Mothership is there. Again, you do still have to have the badge, and it will require minimum of 16 people to do that. So that's pretty awesome as well. Now, let's go take a look. Again, you'll notice that it is nighttime all the time. So now what I'd like to do real quick is just show you an example of the trick-or-treating in this game. So what you're going to want to do is head to your level appropriate area. Now for me, I'm a level 50, so Peregrine Island is a very popular place. There are multiple ways to get there, of course, but in our supergroup base, we actually have a portal to take you directly there. So two things. Number one, if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you do that right now. Pause the video, click subscribe. That way you can stay up to date with City of Heroes. Number two, if you would like an invite to this awesome super group, Heroes Reborn. We're always looking for new members. The only requirement is that you love City of Heroes. That's it. And we have an awesome super group base. So I, I had to throw that in there real quick. Just let me know and we can get you in. But uh, we do have a teleporter that will take me directly there. And again, I don't want to spoil it. I'm gonna, uh, I'm not gonna put it all out there. I'm gonna leave a lot of it to your imagination and give you an opportunity to log into the game and and see this for yourself. But just in case, again, there are some new people here. You'll notice that the buildings are all spooky and decorated. You've got bats and jack o' lanterns in the windows. But what you want to do, you'll notice a lot of people trick-or-treating already. This event is huge. Uh, but basically all you have to do is go up to a building. And just click on the door. Trick-or-treat! What did we get? We got a treat. Heck yes. So I did receive uh, a costume piece for that. Yes. So let's try another one. Now, I believe what the limit is, is five minutes. So if you try to do it again, nothing will happen. So that will reset after about five minutes, I believe. Let's go check out another one. Treat again. Okay, received insight. So inspiration. So as you can see, there are various things that you could get. Let's try one more for this video. And again, I what a what good luck. Three treats in a row. What's going to happen if you get tricked instead is some mobs will run out of the building, which is what just happened to this guy. You can kind of get a sneak peek here. Let's take a look. So just be prepared for that. That there is a chance that you could get tricked and you will have to fight some enemies. So just keep in mind that there are some pieces that you could receive from these, and you can speak to a vendor and trade it in for some cool items. But that's really it for this video. I'm just so excited that Halloween is here for the entire month of October. Paragon City has gone dark. There will be Halloween decorations everywhere, and heroes and villains everywhere will be trick-or-treating. It's really good fun. If, if you're new to this game, you've never played it before, or you're just now finding out that it's back, welcome home. I have a tutorial up on my channel that I will link at the end of this video. It'll, it'll pop up somewhere here on the screen. You can click it, follow those steps, and get into the game. But 
Man, exciting times in City of Heroes and for the homecoming team. That's going to be it, though, for this video. Just leave your comments down below and let me know your favorite thing about the holiday event in City of Heroes. But I will see you guys in Paragon City soon. Positive Gamer, peace out.